a brahmagyani is the one who is aware of the non local consciousness so the first step is the owning of your breath the science and the art and the wisdom of modifying your breath and with modifying your breath you can change your inner and outer reality this gives you a flow this gives you a flow in the localized consciousness in localized awareness in localization of time and space and the brahmagyani is the one who through these localized experience of time and space localized experience of name and form assesses the non local reality brahmagyani the one who has become brahma the one who have experienced life beyond the body life beyond the emotions life beyond the thoughts that is called a brahmagyani my friends i want you to become aware of the empty space that you have given birth drop all your thoughts drop all your emotions drop all the different chapters of your story for a few moments drop all that which you receive and drop all that which you give i want you to collapse the inner and the outer world when you drop the inner world and you drop the outer world what remains is brahm which means the non localized awareness non localized consciousness the sense of the outer and the inner disappears and the one who holds this space the one who assesses this space is called a brahmagyani the knower or the one who holds the wisdom of that which collapses the duality of inner and outer sit without your story sit without your emotions sit without your sensations sit without all the identities which you identify yourself as the i now my friends sit still i want to bring you a bit deeper into the state of brahmagyani <clears throat> you'll be doing a small guided meditation make sure the body is not moving my friends become aware of the left wall of your room if there is any if not whatever is there on the left side of your physical body become aware beautiful now become aware of the right wall of the room the right wall beautiful now notice how as you become aware of the left and right something in you moves away from you become aware of that recognize that something moves out of you something moves away from you recognize that movement this is called mind this is called mind that which moves outward is called mind i want you to repeat this visualization again we are going very slow become aware of the left wall and as you become aware of the left wall something moves away from you something leaves you something goes away beautiful now my friends become aware of the right wall and see something leaves you something goes away from you this is segmentation of the now this is segmentation of the here two things happen here and there takes birth my friends did you notice that become aware please become aware of the left wall you see here and there takes birth uh duration time space takes birth you see it is you who give birth to space 
it is you who gives birth to distance in the reality there's no space there's no time there's no distance i'm going to go deeper into this my friends be with me <clears throat> come back now become aware of the left wall and see something moves away from you there's a segmentation there's a here and there you are here and something leaves you beautiful make sure you get this experience now again become aware of the right wall and as you become aware of the right wall see how something leaves you something leaves you something leaves you beautiful now my friends become aware one more time of the left wall and now become aware of the right wall and now my friends become aware of awareness become aware of awareness did you notice nothing leaves you when you become aware of awareness nothing leaves you you stay here you stay in the now there's no segmentation of your experience ordinarily our experiences gives birth to the inner and outer gives birth to here and there gives birth to the inner and the outer and when you become aware of awareness something collapses back something stops there's no internal and external this awareness is called brahm gyan that non local awareness that non local consciousness which holds the potential of all possibilities so be in this my friends be in this be in this this space that you are experiencing this is the pure potential of all possibilities now before the left wall was born before the left left wall was born in your awareness this space was before the right wall was born or appeared in your awareness this space was this space was there before any sensation was born in you this space is there before any perception is born in you this space is there before any emotion is born in you this space is there before any modulation is born in you this is called i this is called brahm that which holds the potential you know the possibility of the left wall appearing is hidden in this experience of here and now which you are experiencing if you bring your attention towards the right wall the right wall is born if you bring your awareness to the left wall the left wall is born in your awareness it is due to this that all your experiences all your modulations all your perceptions is born the world is contained in this i i hope you are with me your body is born out of this i your mind is born out of this i and the world is born out of this i this is the mother of all that which you give birth this is the space of pagauti the great goddess which also appeared in the sutras today 
that womb from which the manifestation takes birth. And this is a space of Brahma, Jnana, that space which holds the potential of all possibilities. My friends, sit still. When you open your eyes, don't open yet. When you open your eyes, whatever you saw, whatever you will see, that birthing of that sight is contained in this space. Only when this space, this awareness becomes attention, the world is born. This is the I, this is the God in you. This is the collapsing of the inner and the outer. They say when the outer collapses and the inner collapses, what remains is God. This ordinary experience in you, my friends, this ordinary experience in you is God. God is not an extraordinary experience. It is the most ordinary experience that never leaves you. That is called the divine. That is called God. Something that never leaves you is God. Something that never leaves you is I. Something that never leaves you is the self. And this is the direct perceiving of the self. I hope you are with me. And before we end, I want to repeat this exercise all over again, my friends. Sit still, become aware of the left wall and see how some attention from this now, from this here in you moves towards the left and the sensation or the perception of the left wall is born in your awareness. Now become aware of the right wall and see how the perception, the sensation, the thought of the right wall is born in your awareness. Did you realize that this awareness was there before the left wall and the right wall? This is the space that the Guru calls are the such. Jugad such, have be such, nanak hosi be such. Beautiful. Right wall. And now become aware of the awareness only. Neither you are aware of the left wall, neither you are aware of the right wall. You are just aware of awareness. Aware of awareness. Collapsing of the left and right the inner and outer, the right and wrong, the good and bad, the devil and God, the hell and heaven, collapsing of all that. Aham, I, Brahm, it is called, that pure potential which is with you all the time, which you never assess because you are always lost in your modulation. You are always lost in the world that you create. You forgot the creator. And you got lost in the creation. My friends, this is the journey to go back home. This is Shushmana. This is Shushmana. That space in you which never moves. This is the Bindu. The Bindu, the center point, the here and now. You may have read, be in the here, be in the now. This is what it means. This is the direct experience, those of you who are with me. This is the direct experience of here and now. This is all there is. Everything else is an modulation. Everything else is a creation. Everything else is a hallucination. This is the reality. This is the I without which there is no outer world, without which there is no experience of anything. When this is, all is. And when this is not, nothing is. This is all the divine, the aham, the self. Smastam kalpanaha matram atma mukta sanatana. Everything else is an hallucination. The sense of I, the sense of self, the sense of the divine in me. This is God and me. Me and God are one. Just that you get lost in your creation. You get lost in your modulation. The creator got lost in the creation. Before it became karta, this is the purkha, the karta purkh. And this is Ajuni. This space never comes and never goes. You know that? And this is Sabhang. This is self-illuminated. It's self-sustained. It is always here. 
and with this realization inhale and hold and let this breath be the breath of the cosmos which is which is you know that it is not your breath it was never your breath it shall never be your breath it is the breath of the cosmos it is the breath of the cosmos be the brahma gyan brahma gyani the one who knows the i the one who collapses the inner and the outer and exhale and with this realization open your eyes sat down